Hello. Hello, David. Hi. <laughs> How are you doing? Uh, I'm doing okay. Um, okay. I, uh, I'm walking. Where, well, there's a, uh, I'm in Charleston, South Carolina, and there's a uh, tropical storm slash hurricane coming oh, through. No. Um, but uh, we're all, it's all good. I mean, they overblow these events uh, most of the time. Um, so there's a little bit of disruption throughout the uh, the day and all. But uh, but yeah, I uh, hopefully uh, it won't be any big deal. There's actually in the break, a break in the uh, system right now to where there's no rain or anything at all. It's okay. Like, oh, good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So things are okay on that front. Um, I, uh, I wish my life was a little more put together, but that's kind of a whole another <laughs> conversation unto itself. Um, yeah. So, but I appreciate you offering this time and space. Um, I'm walking to like a park bench so that no I can worries. settle. So, okay, cool. No cool. worries. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much. No worries. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. So tell me your story, cool... David. Okay. Yeah, for sure. Um, <clears throat> or, or, or when you sit down, I don't know. It doesn't matter. Yeah. Oh yeah. 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 Um, you were saying something, so, sorry, I interrupted you. <laughs> no, I was just saying how neat it is that, um, we can all meet on the internet and that, you know, you, we can, uh, share ideas back and forth and, uh, yeah. uh you know, that's not a, that's not a novel statement, but you, we still have to recognize the brilliance of all that. Even, even. 30 years on <laughs> into the internet world. Oh, totally. Yeah, totally. Uh, yeah. 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 Um, it makes it more accessible but right? yeah. you know, for, for people that are far away and that kind of stuff. And um, yeah. For sure. For sure. Um, so, yeah, I guess my story is. Um, uh, it's I, I don't even know where to start. I don't I mean, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, I uh, I've come through. Let me start from where I'm at now, and then we can go back. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Okay, that's probably a good story. I'll yeah. give you the punchline. I'll yeah. give you the punchline to the joke. Okay, and then we can start. We can go back from there. Yeah, and figure for sure. Out how I got here. So I'm kind of I'm going through. I guess we could call it a midlife crisis right now. Okay. And. Um, I did all the things in life that everyone told me to do. Okay. Car career. <laughs> job, friends, money, wife, house, baby. And I'm like, oh shit. Why am I more unhappy now than I've ever been in my yeah. entire life? <laughs> what what is going on? So that's the short version of it. And I don't even know how much more you need me to go into because I'm probably mm -hmm. not that I'm probably mm -hmm. a very familiar storyline as far as all that's concerned. Um, and, uh, from what it seems out there, the yeah. people I talk to, uh, they're like, yeah, I don't know why it's such a scam. What happened? You know, it's like, <laughs> so, but I am in the middle of, uh, trying to sort out with my wife, um the uh let me grab a chair so I can settle down here. No worries. I, I am yeah, I'm in the I'm I'm in the middle of sorting out my wife going through like traditional therapy and we're kind of doing like a a workshop that we paid for, like that's um a, a eight week long workshop that's supposed to help out with the, the marriage and all that. And yeah. We're just, we're, we're struggling, you know, and it's just like, my God, like, you know, there's so much at stake, like, I'm, on one hand, there's like, we've got a one-year-old child, oh, wow. and it's, yeah. there's a lot of happiness, yeah, there's a lot of happiness with the child, but like, it's like the full spectrum of emotions going on, it's like everything from like, what the F am I doing, mm, to... Yeah. You know, I'm loving this. And it's even that way with my wife. It's like there's, there's moments, times where I'm like, this is great. We can, we're going to make this work. Yeah. And then it'll swing even from like one day to the next. And within three or four days or one week, it's all the way to the point where I'm like, yeah, this is not going to work. And I'm just okay. like, it's <laughs> yeah. just, a, it's just emotionally exhausting. So, um, 
now I understand you're not like a traditional therapist and, and all of that. So I, I, <laughs> yeah. that's, that's not what, what we're here to do unless you yeah. just want to, you know, have fun with that. But, um, uh, I've done a lot of traditional therapy and okay. there's kind of, even, there's even the whole disappointment. Like I've probably done close to 200 sessions of like traditional one-on-one therapy and, okay. uh, which everyone, apparently everyone that I talk to it, hears that is a, they're like, Oh my God, that's a lot. That's they're like kind of reaction. Yeah, yeah. And I guess it is a lot, you know? So, um, but I'm disappointed. Like there's been some like benefits to it, but looking back, it's like, man, there was so much wasted time and all that. Yeah. Or just, you know, not getting what, what was pr- proposed to have happened, what yeah. society said. So it's like, once again, I'm trying to play by the rules, but like, yeah, this shit ain't yeah. working. This yeah. shit ain't working. What's going on? So I so to to um come to a more recent part of the story is that I went to a Dr. Joe Dispenza week long meditation retreat. Oh, yeah. yeah. It was in, and and the first couple of days I was like, oh my God, I'm got scammed. What is this? You know, yeah. and like and then like day three or four into it, I was like, Oh, wow, there's something to this. And things yeah. really started opening up. And by the end of the week, I'm like, wow. And I just drank the Kool-Aid and did all that. Yeah. And uh, it was a really <laughs> cool experience. I, I'll probably never go, go to one of those again. I just yeah. feel like I'm one and done. And it was great. Got the T-shirt, you know, mm-hmm. but I, I feel like there's this whole guru effect around that. Yeah. That I've heard you talk, talk about with your um, some of your other videos. And I told it when you started describing the guru, I, I don't know if that's the phrase you use, but the guru kind of. Uh, Authority. thing where you, people get addicted to that it's like yeah. I, I really yeah the authority figure exactly and it's like people get addicted to that and they're getting their next kind of dopamine hit from going to one yeah. one workshop to the next to the next to the next and you meet amazing people and there's also oh yeah yeah benefits you get of from course, it of course yeah but but you're definitely you get the sense of every almost everybody i've met it's like oh this is my 12th workshop and i'm like what do you <laughs> <laughs> well, really like i don't isn't it, it really supposed to be 12 end? and you still <laughs> yeah. when does it end when does yeah. it end exactly and um you know and so then i came across uh david bingham's work in february okay yeah through i guess youtube algorithms and i was like oh wow that's some next level thinking right there yeah that's really cool and I read his book and got into a lot of his videos. And then that algorithm led to Angela Dalulo. Yeah. And then the, 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 you know, the chasm opened up and all the next thing you know, I'm hearing all these people talk about not or the radical non-duality kind of stuff. Yeah. And all of a sudden I'm finding myself being completely freaked out. I'm like, yeah. what the fuck are you talking about? Yeah. I yeah. don't exist right now. Yeah. And I started going into like panic mode of like, I mean, oh, just no. it, 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 I mean, and I'm, I, I, it was not something I went into for like a long period, but like yeah. there's been moments, especially like the middle of the night kind of time where, yeah. you know, I'm kind of like, uh, have a lot of nervous energy in the middle of the night, uh, uh, when I wake up cause I don't sleep well and all that too. But, uh, it's like, uh, I'm realizing like, what does that mean? And then it's like, man, it goes down into some really dark thoughts. Yeah. And I'm, I'm like, those dark thoughts are very distressing. Yeah. And I've so I kind of backed, yeah. I kind of backed off. I backed off of a lot of that stuff. Cause I'm just like, that's not connecting with me in the way that it's supposed to or something. And maybe they're true. It's true on some level, but like, I got a wife and a child right here to deal with. I can't, yeah. my brain, my brain cannot handle that right now. I, it just, it was just too much. Yeah. I'm looking for like, I'm looking for stress relief and like spiritual growth, but yeah. I'm not, I'm not looking to like turn my fifth dimensional, you know, world inside <laughs> out right now. Like, I mean, yeah. I, 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 and so, so kind of here I am. If, if it's the, the how did you end up with me that. then? Was it the algorithm? Well, the algorithm for sure. And then um, I watched a couple of your videos and I really liked your message. Uh, of, uh, you, you you were able to kind of call out some of the authority figures. And I'm starting to, 
it, it made me think about that. And it's like, yeah, like we shouldn't be beholden to going to authority figures over and over and over again and watching countless hours of YouTube videos. And like the, the universe would be agnostic to that behavior. Yeah. At the, at the, and, 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 and so like, yeah, we shouldn't like be, you know, in, 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 in it's, it's just not normal. Like, no, yeah. you know, it's just not normal. Like that's a modern invention. Uh, it and, is. and maybe, yeah, yeah. yeah, for sure. So I'm like, okay, so I don't need all that stuff. Even though like, I'm kind of like a little addicted to it, you know? Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What do they have but that I, I don't have that kind of thing, right? That, that, you know, the grass must be right, greener right, on that side, right. that kind of thing. Right. So, you know, exactly. looking for Shangri-La, right. So, <laughs> Well, exactly. And so I'm just, I'm, I'm at the point where like, part of me kind of feels like I've, I've entered the matrix already. Mm. Uh, if that's the word that could be used. Cause yeah. I feel like I'm like low level tripping on psychedelics all the time. <laughs> yeah. You know, and that kind of panics me in a way. But then again, I'm just like, I don't know. I can still handle my shit too. Like it's all good. Like, yeah. I'm like, I need, I need to do things like pay bills and like yeah. feed a baby and like, you know, and I'm just kind of wondering like, how does this play out with my marriage kind of crisis right now? And like, what does all this mean? Is this kind of spiritual growth even like where I need to be right now? Uh, yeah. Or, or like, can I utilize this to help save my, mm. my real, my real thing is like, I want to save my marriage. I want this. Yeah. To work. Yeah. Of I course. Mean, yeah. I, this is like, you know, as far as the science goes, they say a child in a household with a mother and a father is a better outcome than yeah, not, yeah. you know, all that kind of stuff. And I'm just like, you know, like uh, anyway, I could go on and on, but that's essentially yeah. kind of where I'm at. I'm just like, I just want life to just feel good again. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Of course. So, so, David, but what, what do you believe right now at this moment? Okay. I believe at this moment that I, I, feel, I feel confusion. Mm -hmm. um, and I, I don't, if you're asking me in, in the direct experience, I, under, yeah. I kind of in understand. In the direct experience no, right now, yeah. Right in the direct experience. My mind is very capable of going into like, well, let me gather all these philosophical ideas yeah, yeah. and tell you about those. You know? But, uh, but you know. Right now. Not, not even right any, now, any ideas about the past or the future. Just right now. What do you believe yeah. at this very moment? Yeah. And I, lo I love this because there's like, there's like nothing to believe. Yeah. It goes directly, right? Yeah, Almost the immediate. direct yeah. Yeah, yeah, the direct experience is just like I'm visualizing. I'm like in a park, and the, it's yeah, kind yeah. of naturally beautiful. Yeah, but there's there's nothing to believe. There's nothing to believe. What if you can go to the to the next or the or the past? Then what's missing here? If I can go to the future or the past, you, you know, uh, what if you can't go? Yeah, you can't go to oh, the future or the go. past. Just right now, at this moment. Yeah. Ah, okay. Yeah. Well, then it's all just this. What's between this and not this? What's between this? And not this, yeah. And not this. Yeah. I guess there's nothing. What's between nothing and not nothing? Between nothing and not nothing. Yeah, go directly to the question. Yeah. There's a blankness, not... isn't it? Yeah. Can you come yeah. up with anything? There's a blankness. Okay. In that blankness, yeah. Right? In this directness, in this blankness, in this, you know, um, immediacy. Can you find any thoughts? If you can go to the past or the future, where are the thoughts? Yeah, I'm experiencing that. Yeah. 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 So 
there is some clarity yeah. here. You know what I'm saying? Just using words, you know, like don't mind the words. There's some clarity yeah, here yeah. that doesn't really yeah, need yeah. any kind of comprehension. So if you can go, go to the past or the future, what is wrong with this moment? Or what's right with this moment even? Is anything anything missing here? Yeah, nothing's missing. There you go. It's not it's not right or wrong. Exactly. Yeah. 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 There's this okay. in-betweenness because the mind tends to create just opposites, right? You know what? Uh, there yeah. is, you know, and then it tries to solve it in the in the next. But what if it creates a past? so that it can maintain a future when all thoughts ah. really are irrelevant. Ah. Yeah. So the in-between okay. is the directness, basically. It just clears up everything. It's like the delusion. Like, for example, yeah. let's apply your, your marriage. Is there anything wrong or right about your marriage right now? Yeah, there's, there's, there's not even necessarily a marriage right now. Exactly, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. So we're really dreaming in words, aren't we? Wow. Okay. Yeah. 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 You feeling that, eh? This is kind of yeah. like this is kind of like unplugging the matrix, basically, right? And and here you are in some clarity. And if you can go to the future, then there's no next. Then there's this clarity that's always here. Yeah. Well. Yeah, and I've sensed this before. Yeah. This yeah. is. Uh... Yeah. It's very interesting. It's very subtle, isn't it? Right? It's very soft, but it's very peaceful. Yeah. yeah. So for yeah. example, if you're in this in this appearance, like maybe talking to your wife would after everything would soften up a little bit, right? Because where can you find the wrong or right here? Mm. Where can yeah. you even find you and your wife here? Yeah. Yeah. Where are your thoughts at this moment? They're relevant. Yeah, they're irrelevant. It's just it it's if anything, it's responding to what's happening yeah. in front of me. Yeah. So it's even when you're talking right now, what's behind it? Are you even thinking your thoughts or just your words are just appearing out of your mouth? Huh. <laughs> that that makes me think. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. But if you even look at the belief, what's behind a belief? A, a history. Yeah, but that's just a, a belief. past, a past, a past. But yeah. that's just another belief. Yeah. Yeah. So what's between a belief and a non-belief? I feel like, are these like trick questions? No, no, <laughs> no, no, no. I'm just yeah, basically yeah, yeah. trying to show you that yeah. anything yeah. that you think about is just, it's just basically made up. Yeah. This is a What's made up reality. This is a made up word world basically. Yeah. 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 We're caught up there's in the idea of time. You know what I'm saying? So there's this, you know, problem and then there's a solution in the next. But what if there are really no problems because there's no past and there's no future? Hmm. What if there's just this peace? Yeah, I feel yeah. peace. Yeah, the body I mean, feels it, is, right? The I body relaxes, yeah. Yeah, and I'm I sorry. think I get caught up in the... I'm sorry, I'm very sorry. I think I get caught up in the semantics, too, of like... Because I'm so used to just, like, using my brain to, like, solve problems. I'm like, I'm caught up in the semantics of no past, no future. It's like, well, yeah, okay, yeah. technically, technically there is a past, and technically yeah. there is a future, but it's more like we're going to acknowledge that that's irrelevant. Yes, that's right. Is it, is it, is it along those lines? Yeah, yeah. Basically, I was saying, okay. what is in between okay. past and no past? My brain just doesn't even compute that question. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. You can't compute it. It yeah. goes blackout, right? That's why I was making the joke and saying, are these trick questions? Because it's, yeah. it's my brain, my brain doesn't compute it. It's like yeah. uh somehow, and have... this is this is just a story, my brain doesn't yeah. function anymore. I don't have a you know, the mind is again, this is a story, right? So it's between mind yeah. and no mind. So there okay. seems to be 
a functioning, but it's not really functioning. It doesn't make sense because every single word is made up. So the uh, word is yeah. is our veil, kind of like of of you know like we think that the word word reality is reality. We think that the word veil yeah. is veil, but it's just a word. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We think that there's opposites because there's right or wrong, but what's in between right and wrong? You can't even think of it. Yeah, yeah. There's another one. It's kind of like almost like innocence or obliviousness. If you look at it, like I'll, I'll use an example. It's kind of like, this is kind of like our factory setting <laughs> before all the apps that that make screws up all of our computers and phones. You know what I'm saying? So this mm. is the factory yeah. setting where everything is clear, functioning. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That analogy, that analogy makes sense. Yeah. 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 For sure. And then we have apps yeah. like thoughts, beliefs, right? So this in between yeah. is almost like a pop-up blocker. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And you know, the, 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 the irony of using your mind to try to control is that the more you use your mind and the more information you put into it, then the more you're the further away you get from your factory setting. Exactly. Exactly. So this is going yeah. completely opposite the direction of everybody, teachers, mentors, coaches are going, right? Okay. Yeah, it that's why sense. it's different. It's yeah. not like I it's not like I need to empty my head. No. Just everything yeah. I've ever learned. It's more like what head? I have enough inf- I've already got <laughs> enough info. I've already yeah. I've already got enough here to get all the answers I need. Yeah. And that's the end of seeking. That's the end of seeking. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Okay. Yeah. It's clear yeah, enough, I don't right? need I don't no. I don't need advice from other people because no. it's all right here. It's all right. It's right here. Perfect. Yeah. 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 Okay. Okay. (laughs) All right. All right. All right. I had to just put it in my own unique. No worries. No worries. Twisted twisted brain version of all this. You know, (laughs) like. (laughs) Yeah, I I get it. I understand. My my own DNA. (laughs) My own DNA had to be like, you know, let me ask my own complicated version of this question. But but what I like about this is very direct that you actually feel it. You know what I'm saying? Although there's yeah. really no no one, again, this is a story. You can't even say it in words, yeah. right? Yeah. Right? Because any word is a landing. Any word yeah. is a position, right? Even saying positionless, is that's a position. Who are you kidding, right? You know, concept, no concept. Yeah. They're both words. Yeah. So everybody's swimming in words. And here I am kicking people out of the airplane without a parachute because there's no landing. Yeah, I love that yeah. analogy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Get off the yeah. plane of belief because everything, every path, every every teaching is just, you know, from here to here, right? And yeah. even radical is saying that there's no one here. It's just another concept. Come on. You know, saying it's giving a lot of well, people it, cognitive dissonance, right? You're like, you feel that you're here, but your brain is telling you that you're not here. It's it's yeah. it's someone's telling you. It's in the absolute sense, it does, it does, you know, it can create this, this kind of like shock. You're like, oh, what's between self and no self? What's between me and no me? Yeah, once again, I just can't compute that. It, and that's what everybody's a- trying to talk about, that there's no self, but they've come into a position or a knowing that there's no self. Yeah. Yeah. They've arrived at yeah. something. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not right, here yeah. to I'm not here to for you to believe me. I'm here for you to see through what I'm trying to say. Yeah. It's yeah. not in my words, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. In 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 some some way I've become the most credible one because you know what? It's not just all talk. Talk is cheap. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I it's like part of me has been afraid that I'm gonna go deeper into the acid trip and I don't yeah. really want to do that. Yeah, yeah. But it's like it's like no, I'm not going deeper into the acid trip. Yeah, I'm actually just, I'm experiencing like what's in front of me right now, and and I can enjoy. You're what's actually in front of me sober right now. right now. I'm sober. I don't yeah. need an acid trip to no, to add no. to the experience. I don't need. I don't need. You know, uh, or and I've done plenty of that stuff in my time too. So <laughs> yeah. I, I can speak. I can speak authoritatively about it. But uh, oh yeah. Uh, but uh, but yeah, it's kind of like just saying this. This is enough. It is enough, isn't it? 
This is Isn't enough, it wonderful? Right it's enough right I'm, here. Yeah. I'm enough. This is enough. Yeah. It's complete. Yeah. 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 I didn't imagine I didn't imagine myself saying these words exactly. right now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, part of me was like, man, maybe I should cancel this meeting because uh, no no offense to you, but it's just like yeah. I can't take any more of this acid trip. No, no, no. I'm here I'm not here to give you a trip. Yeah. I'm here to sober you up. But it's it's not an acid trip. It's more sobering than than yeah. okay. It is, yeah. Right. Okay. Cool. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. This is a, this is awesome. Okay. I mean, I knew I wasn't going to cancel it, but also it was like that little part of me yeah, was yeah. like, cancel it. Yeah. Get, you know, um, well, it's afraid to sober up, right? Because the thought's just really intoxication. Ah, yeah. yeah. I've heard you say that. Yeah. yeah. Now it makes sense, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Beliefs are just another kind of like opiate, right? Belief is the opiate uh, for the masses. Yeah. yeah. Well, you know, it's like interesting. It's like, okay. I've been personifying those beliefs for so long. Mm. And now I can see that they're not personified. No. Okay. No. Yeah. Okay. There you go. Okay. okay. Beautiful. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. Wow. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and I and I don't and I don't and I don't like I don't think this like one of my fears was like, oh my God, this is going to end my marriage or something like having this conversation. But I don't even get that sense at all. No. I just have no, a sen- no. I just have a sense of like, I don't know. Let's find out. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, I hope it I hope it lasts and all that. But I mean, like, I have know, actually I have out. actually people that that does a joint one on one with me now, like a marriage or you know couples. Oh really? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Oh wow! Yeah, well, yeah, that would be great. I, my yeah. wife, I've got, I've gotten my wife into this, which is when she's been really open minded to this. So uh, yeah, so maybe we, maybe we can do that sometime. Yeah, yeah. You know what? Really and, cool. the, and this is not, um, this is not therapy or not therapy. But you know what? Yeah, it's it's authentic. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. You feel that authenticity? The, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, we, and, we, and she and I have done all the therapy stuff, and it's 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 been helpful. Like. I guess what they say in the relative sense, like it's, it's like, you know, okay, we argue a little bit less or whatever the case was, but it's like, yeah. it, you know, it's it, anyway. Yeah. But there's always so, something missing. You know what I'm saying? That's what with, with therapy seems to appear, right? There's always something that is kind of like a, um, a lack. Where's yeah. the lack right now? Right. Can you find it? Yeah, no, not at all. And like, it, I get the sense too that like I can, I just feel like I'm ready to move on with my life. Yeah. I'm like, okay. I don't I don't have all the answers, but I don't need all the answers. I'm just ready to move on with my life. I'm, oh, I don't yeah, need yeah. to be like I don't need to be learning all this shit. Yeah. <laughs> and it just creates more delusion, isn't it? Right. So the secret yeah. the mind or whatever, the character is like a, a hoarder. You're hoarding, yeah. hoarding like Joe Dispenza, you know, all of this yeah. non-duality, right? And it's just hoarding basically, right? So yeah. because you think that it has something of value. Mm-hmm. So what I'm doing basically it's is... It's interesting that... Yeah. It's interesting that the non-duality community creates the separation itself. It does. It reinforces it the is, meetings. It, it the meetings the reinforce the suffering, it. isn't it? Right? Right. The yeah. problem. The problem is 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 the community. It is. <laughs> I mean, uh, uh, lovingly. You, you can also say <laughs> lovingly because yeah. they're like, well, like you recognize them to be good-hearted people at the same time. They oh just, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not like, or you uh, believe that not, they are. It's not me. Ver- well, yeah, I. Yeah, right, yeah. right, right. Uh, yeah, I'm sure there's some. I I, I would say. Yeah, there's some probably some some authorities that are all about yeah. the money for sure. Oh, totally. Yeah, um, yeah. And then there's some that are, you I, know, I know not... some of them. Yeah, yeah. Right, right. Yeah. And um, one thing that uh, Doctor, well, this is the re- I'll tell you the reason why I won't go back to Doctor Joe again. And I, I, I wouldn't say I wouldn't recommend it to somebody because it actually was quite cathartic for me. Yeah. 
But on the tail end of the last day of the seven day meditation retreat, he he got everybody into the final room and final meeting. And one of the and that's comments an expensive he made, retreat, huh? How much did you pay? Yeah, for it's twenty five hundred bucks, and it oh, sell wow. they sell out instantly, uh, in like ten minutes. And so, um, my brother invited me, and we didn't have tickets, so we just went to Cancun, and we we're like, well, let's just try to go and see if they'll let us in. Yeah. And sure enough, they let us in. I guess they weren't afraid to turn down our extra twenty five hundred bucks each. So, uh, but so anyway, two thousand people in the room, and it's it's quite amazing. Wow, two thousand people! Sure. Wow. Yeah, it was yeah. definitely the thing that kind of cracked the shell for me. Yeah. Otherwise, I, I had my head up my ass. Yeah, I mean for sure. But so I'll give praise where it deserves. But the, oh, the yeah, final, yeah. the final day, the final weekend, he made the comment. He said I something along the lines of like, I know all you, most of you people here are life coaches and healing practitioners, but I want you to know that this is like basically proprietary information. And I don't want you taking this information and going out and selling it or using it to, to start a business. And I'm like, you asshole. Wow. Like you've got information you're claiming is ready to change the world. Yeah. Charging people buckets of money to come visit you knowing in good faith that it's going to be the healing practitioner and and you know this yeah. type of minded person and then you're going to insult their intelligence at the end of it and say all, all this stuff you've learned through all you know all his because he, he talked half the time and meditation the other half yeah you know all this stuff you've learned and paid for uh is you conceptually use. conceptually mine i've trademarked it or whatever the fuck you want to say and I'm just like, yeah, I'm done. I, I appreciate what I got out of this, but I'm done. I, I didn't yeah. need to, that. That that was it for me. And um, so anyway, I don't, I don't, I don't care about whether he's. I mean, I'm not trying to spread that story like, oh, I need to like yeah, yeah. take him down or something. It's not my mission to take him down. Yeah, yeah. But it's also just like, yeah, it was like a little bit of like a uh, a, a final disappointment. He could have sent us off and say, go change the world. Yeah, yeah, but instead yeah. He, he had to say, no, empower I'm going to hold people, all, you know, that kind of oh, thing. Yeah, yeah, go empower people, go heal yeah. people, go do all this. And instead he had yeah. to say, no, no, they need to come see me directly to my sold out events. Oh, by the way, not everybody can come because they're sold out. And you yeah, know, it's very just, it's hoarding, <laughs> well, it's hoarding. You know? It's hoarding, it's, uh, yeah. Well, it, it is, yeah. you know what, and, and this is what everyone, you know, saying it's the people, the moment that someone becomes an authority, they become rather than a, a liberator, a gatekeeper. Yeah, they they're gatekeeping now because you know what? Yeah. For them, it's 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 their legacy or their authority or their or their branded thing, right? So, you know, yeah. some you know some some speaker in this, you know, for me, you know what? This this stuff that I'm doing somehow, um, there's a couple of people doing it now, and you know what? I'm happy. Yeah. I'm like it's an open source. It's like it's this 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 yeah. is decentralized, right? If it's going to make some people clear up their thinking, if it's going to help someone get out of depression, you know what I'm saying? I'm not going to be yeah. so arrogant and say that, oh, you know what, you have to come to me first and everything. You know, and yeah. Um and I, I don't I don't well, see any danger in it because it 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 it's peace. This is the uh this is yeah. the um the directness that that peace that can't be understood. Right. So yeah. Yeah. The peace that passes understanding. That's it. Yeah. That's what's here. Yeah. 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 It's, it's, and you, it's and you beautiful. Didn't need, it's beautiful. You didn't need to do kind of like a five day workshop with me for 2,500 to get here. I oh, offer it, it right just away. Seems silly. Yeah. It yeah. seems silly. Like looking back on that, I'm like, I'm thinking a five day work meditation yeah. retreat would be almost like misery right now. Yeah. Like it'd it be is. like, there's be a certain level of like, just like, I'm hoping that something happens during this meditation retreat. Yeah. And you know, you know, like, how it's just probably, baiting. It's just a lot of baiting and 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 you know. I carrot. think there's a lot of his. I think there's a lot of hysteria that happens in there too, because you know there's a lot of people that go in there and like have like what they call ex, like uh, experiences. Uh, I mean, I almost I almost wonder if they're like almost like psychotic experiences because people are like shaking and trembling and getting on the floor and like foaming at the mouth. Well, and, if like, you look at the 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 <laughs> um, the the, the uh, Quakers, you know what I'm saying, and Christian. They do the mm-hmm. same thing. They speak in tongues. You know what I'm saying, and because mm. they put someone in a pedestal already, right? So yeah, there's there's an amount of um of um hysteria that happens because here is here is someone that's supposed to be in a high high on a pedestal that's going to change your life, right? So 
So there's when you've this... been suffering, you've been suffering for so long, you're willing to just drink whatever Kool Aid they put in exactly, front of you. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. And you know what? I experienced that, you know, and it was just the most beautiful experience. Um, but I saw it for what it is. When I was fifteen, yeah. when I was fifteen or sixteen, I skipped classes. I went into a Michael Jackson concert. <laughs> and there were people fainting, you know, in rows of people yeah. fainting. He would point that way and the whole row would faint. He would point this way and he would do his little kind of like, you know, Michael Jackson kind of like, you know, like pauses and everything. And then when he looked yeah. at me, I thought I was going to faint and I was screaming. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah. That's that's you- that's innate in people to have this this belief, you know what I'm saying, that there's someone higher than them. Right. Yeah. But you know, yeah. that belief quite changed. You know what I'm saying? When he was getting accused of, you know, saying that kind of stuff. Oh my right. God. Yeah. Well, so this there is, you go. This is, this is similar to like gurus. Like, look story. at your belief at that what? guru. When you saw him up close, then you saw like the Wizard of Oz, basically. Right. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's, it's, it's also the same line of thinking of like where I told you my life story of like, I did mm. all the things they told me to do. And it turned out I'm disappointed that it was not true what they told me, or at least it wasn't yeah. for me. It's like the same thing as like going to a Michael Jackson concert and, you know, uh, having to reevaluate like, oh, you know, maybe I could have been one of those kids he invited back to his house. And look how that would have gone, <laughs> you know, because you, know, yeah. you would have been so I was 15. To that. <laughs> yeah. Right, right, right. Exactly. Oh, my goodness. And, uh, yeah, if you would have, I would have said yes, you know. And it's interesting. I'm kind of reflecting. And you know what? Back. And I danced like Sorry, him, man. and I sang like him. You know, I was a Michael Jackson parrot ever since yeah. I was a little kid. You know what? I would do those twirls and high kicks, and you know, and 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 learn how to sing in a high pitched voice to to mimic him, basically, right? So, yeah, that's the yeah. same thing as as you know, like someone that's that's adoring, like you know, like some of the speakers and teachers. They mimic. They try to be like them from an yeah. adoration. Yeah. Yeah, that's uh, that's they drank the Kool Aid, drank the Kool Aid, and like yeah. it's interesting. I'm reflecting back on the times in my life of uh, when I've kind of been out there in the world and feeling like, why are people acting like this? I'm like, you know, when you probably experienced this too, where you're like, you're in a crowd or your group or whatever, and you're like, yeah, <laughs> this doesn't yeah. this doesn't make sense to me. Why is everybody doing? This? Like, why, why is this the appropriate behavior? It doesn't yeah. make sense to me. But all of that's also true about politics. Yeah. Uh, and I think, like, this whole crazy-ass political world we live in, yeah, it's pulling the veil back on a bunch of shit. And there's a bunch of people that are fed up, and they're going to, yeah. they're, they're going to, you know, see that the world is not what we've been told it was. Or they already exactly. have. Exactly. They already have. They already yeah. have. Um, but yeah, I've just like I used to get so into politics. I was like, that's poison. It's it absolute poison. The moment poison. that you take a side, you know what, that belief doubles down into another belief. So now you believe that you're a character moving through time and space. Now you have a cause. Now you have a position. Now you've been wrong. Now you're right. Now they're wrong. See how it just keeps on yeah. beliefs yeah. all the way down. Yeah. And you're susceptible to the hysteria, which makes them able to program your mind. They assign a point of view for you. You didn't come up with that idea. If you stop and think about any political conversation you've ever had with anybody, you can stop and say, did you come up with that idea or did you hear that from somewhere? Exactly. The answer is actually like there's no way the average person could conceive of holding that position on their own yeah. merits of their own mind. There's absolutely no way. It's impossible. That means I'm, I'm still here, David. Only... My my battery just oh, yeah, went sorry. down. Sorry, sorry. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah I'm right. here. I'm here. We'll blame it on the hurricane. How about that? So, yeah, yeah. <laughs> or the. <laughs> uh, we'll just pretend like we're just roughing it out, and despite all odds, we're going to survive and make it through this hurricane. And, Where else uh, are you? So are you in Florida? Uh, uh, Charleston, South Carolina. Oh, South Carolina. Oh, my goodness. South Carolina. So there's Correct. supposed to be a hurricane there that's coming up. in. Yeah, yeah. And and, and it's 90% of all the hurricanes are just a nothing burger. 
Yeah. Uh, but, you know, they have to give the warning because the, the flooding can be dangerous, but the hurricane itself is typically not. Yeah. Uh, but uh, they, so they kind of out of an abundance of caution, overwarn, they send yeah. a bunch of sick, you know, warnings at three in the clock in the morning where your phone screams at you and all that. But um, anyway, um, so, but yeah, we're, we're all, we're good down here. There's, oh, good, don't, good. If you, if you were happen to watch the news, which I'm sure you don't, don't, don't believe the hype. So <laughs> no, I don't really watch the news anymore. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. yeah. So if you look at that, look at that. It's just fanaticism. A lot of these people, yeah. you know what, get up on stage and there's a fanaticism around them. And then there's a follower around them, right? They might have some clarity in the beginning, but that, but that fanaticism that likes, you know, that pedestaling, that high horse settles in. So rather than have this clarity to basically express that, you know, because you know what, there's some absolute statements that that does make sense, you know, that there is really no mind. But when it becomes yeah. this idea that there's no mind, then you it becomes a belief system. It's very subtle. When there's no me, then it becomes yeah. a belief system, right? There's still people commenting on my YouTube saying there, there's no one new, you know, that's old school already. You know what? That's <laughs> yeah, that's that's ridiculous. Well, what's now. scary about it is like and, that's and a belief scary system because I'm, like. Like I get what you, I think I finally get what you, what they might mean and what you're saying, which is mm. the word mind is just another word. Yeah. So therefore there is no mind if we were to break it down to that level. Exactly. Of yeah. That but there's there, also no, no the mind. mind is, yeah. Right. But, but there's but, also no opposite this, of mind. Yeah. Yeah. And then we can say, well, there's no body, but then it's like confusing because you can drive yourself crazy to think that there's no body. Like, but yeah. like, there is a body like what what do you mean and now i'm going to convince myself there's not a body i i don't i yeah anyway yeah what's uh, between body and no body we don't really know that's what it is yeah because knowing is the illusion okay yeah knowing yeah. is the illusion it's the accepting yeah. it's also the flip side of all this is the acceptance that of the unknown yeah that's the, also, the bigger pit yeah. But also, even if you go there, you know what I'm saying? Let me just let me just kind of like be. Okay. okay even, sure, sure. even if you go there, who's to know the unknown? It's just another word. Mm. Yeah. Right. So it's okay. between the known and the unknown. And then then you have clarity. Yeah. I try to go there. What's between known and the unknown? Yeah. It's just yeah. all... It's, it's, here I am back to this. Yeah. There the you mind, go. the mind is, the mind is, I see what you're saying because I'm engaging my mind, the technique. Yeah. Right. Can I, can I try to describe your technique here? I yeah, for sure. Really for good. sure. Yeah. The yeah. technique is tie up the brain space with something that it can't compute so that it can yeah. be in the direct moment. Exactly. Okay. 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 Because you know what, I've done this one and once for so long now, right? Yeah. And you know yeah. what, there were a lot of people even without doing this technique or whatever you might want to call it, right? Is it no technique, technique? Because when you get there, yeah. it's it's done, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, no, no. And I'm I'm saying like this is beautiful. What you're doing is beautiful. Oh, thank and you, I, thank I mean, you, man. Yeah, I mean, I'm I'm believe me, this is this has been excellent, excellent. Yeah. So, yeah. And it's very simple, right? It's very simple. There's no no prerequisite to it right it's just really going bulldozering everything yeah yeah and it just don't, comes into this quietness yeah 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 it's it's very nice if 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 we can i mean it's nice compared to the other thing i was experiencing how about that yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. jeez uh, yeah. Yeah. Then it, it, I can kind of feel it. It's like opening the channels of like, well, just love your wife. It's yeah. all good. Yeah. Yeah. Like it's all good. Like you Be don't directly, worry about yeah. the, That's don't right, worry yeah. about the rest of all that bullshit. Just, Love her. Don't worry about and the mind stuff. What's where's the mind stuff right now? Yeah, yeah, mm. yeah, yeah. Don't worry about that stuff. Just love her, and she's probably going to love you back. And yeah. that's all you need to worry about. 
Exactly. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> mm. Thank Because you. I've got these glasses. Yeah. I'm tearing up a little bit. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. Isn't it beautiful? Just, just it's like it's like almost like the humbling. You know what I'm saying? That there's no one right or wrong. Yeah. There's even no one or no no one. You know, it's just there's just something here that's inexplicable, and it's direct. So nice. Yeah. Yes. I mean. And also, just like allows my body to relax. Yeah, point, your too. body relaxes oh. right away. Yeah, I know. Because you're just like, oh, yeah. Okay, we can just chill and enjoy this. I get it now. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Very nice. When people ask me, you know, why do you laugh all the time? Now you get it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I, <laughs> yeah. It's not like a, it's not like I'm compelled just to like, you know, like, oh, I'm just, you know, going to make up reasons to laugh. But it's just, it's just, it's the laughter of just like, it's all good. It's all good laughter. <laughs> it's all good. It yeah, it's all good. I don't, I, don't even, I don't know what I'm <laughs> laughing about, but. If we I have know. to do yeah. something, we might. If we have to do something, we might as well laugh, right? That's right. Yeah. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, very nice. Very nice. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Uh, yeah, definitely some clarity going on now for sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's clarity without like what I thought clarity would. I thought clarity in the past would have been like, "Here's all the answers to your problems," no. and they just arise. In no, it's not that at all. Clarity without words just, is what I call it sometimes. It's clarity. Yeah. It's clarity because it's freedom. Yeah, it's clear you. Clarity gained because there's freedom, yeah, from all of that junk. That's all good. The yeah. junk, yeah. And that's what it all amounts to. Is just junk. It's just there's so stuff. much junk, hey? So much junk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Interesting. Very nice. I don't. I don't really know what else to say, honestly. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, there's all sorts of interesting things we could say, but it's it's just like, well, as far as what uh, we're on here to do, I I feel like yeah, we're we're yeah. here, yeah, we're here, yeah, yeah. It is, yeah. It's actually nice walking around. I know there's a storm coming there, but walking around is nice yeah. because the trees, you don't even know what you're looking at, really, right? It's like it's like a sober high. Yeah. Yeah. And I think part of like on some level, I was experiencing like that low level, like psychedelic trip already. Yeah. yeah. But it was just kind of scary to me. But now yeah. it's like, oh, yeah, no, I just enjoy this. Yeah. Yeah. Just enjoy this. Like, you know, it's, it's, it's fun. It's silly. It is. Yeah. Yeah. It's like almost like childlike wonder now, right? Not like, uh, yeah, the musing so far, you know, like, right. An older man, you know, what I'm saying that has gone through life, you know, that kind of thing, and yeah, because that's what I was, right? I'm like, oh, I'm so yeah. old. I've gone through decades and decades of life and everything, and then yeah. this this kind of like cleared up everything. I'm like, what was I talking about again? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, and the only thoughts I can have would be like, why is that tree shaped like that? I don't know. That's how nature wanted it. Like, you know, like, right, yeah. like, okay, well, you know, I guess if I were, a, I guess if I were, a tree, you were like I a little kid. Like yeah. You're like a little kid yeah. again. Right. Why is the tree yeah. shaped like that? Right. Right. And it's beautiful yeah. regardless, right. Of what you think. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's very vibrant also. Yeah. Vibrant and just alive. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> It'll be interesting. I, I was about to maybe make a misstep in my comments. I was say I was gonna say it'll be interesting to see how this plays out over time. Yeah, but I caught myself saying that, and I don't know what you think about that kind of a statement or not. There's really no <laughs> next, you know, aside from a thought or an idea or whatever. What usually yeah. people do is, you know, what to clear up any residues is they, you know, um, they usually can like book a second session. Some people okay. don't, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But for you, maybe, yeah. maybe yeah, because you're. <laughs> You know, say maybe even with your wife, you know what I'm saying? I don't know. You'll see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, and that's, I have no problem booking another session. And like, I mean, I'm just so, my mind has just been so entrenched for so yeah, long. That's I'm right. Just like, and now it's like, wow, uh, what is this? Right. It's so nice. Yeah. It's like, it, yeah. It's on a vacation now, right? Like overworking yeah. the whole time and all of a sudden, you know. Um, and yeah. it's not a, it's not anything radical. It's yeah. not radical. No, no. Yeah, it's just very much just like okay. Yeah, there was this tension and nervousness here, yeah. and it's just like okay. Yeah, this lightness. Yeah, lightness. Right, yeah. lightness. There's, there's uh, like it's the. It's also clearly seeing that like that stuff was so useless. Yeah. Oh, totally. Yeah. Like more than useless, yeah. like just barely, like just like, yeah, okay, yeah. It's just again, cool. it's like you, you, there's the sobriety. You know what I'm saying? All of a sudden, yeah, yeah, because we we get so intoxicated with our thoughts and our belief systems are basically um like um like a cult, like almost if you if you look at it, it's almost like you got out of a cult thinking. Yeah, 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 yeah. But it's not entering another cult at all. No, no. There's. I'm not giving you another belief. Right. It's, yeah. it's exiting all. It's exiting all the cults. It is. Yes. That's yeah. it. That's it. Yeah. But it's also not discarding it. I'm also not at the same time discarding, like nope. the idea that I'm I'm here on an earth and like yep. I probably yeah. am going to get hungry later today and I need to eat. That's food. right. Yeah. Like, you I know, might get like irritated life, again. You know, what I'm saying it. Right. Like yeah. This like weather life, thing. Life go, that yeah. Yeah. Life on. goes. Yeah, life goes on, but I'm curious to see what this filter is going yeah. through. I already know what it means now, and, yeah. and, and that's enough. That's yeah. enough in itself. I don't need to seek further what it can do for me. There I don't need go, to yeah. seek further what it can Yeah, yeah. And you see that it's just the maintenance of identity, right? The identity wants to keep on yeah. maintaining it. Even the self-improvement, it's just that identity that's false if you look at it. Between false yeah. and not false anyway. You know what I'm saying? But you know what I'm trying to get, right? There's this narrative right. of you that you completely bought into. And now you're like, oh, yeah. my goodness, it's just a narrative. What the hell? It's just a narrative. And the narrative is built on words. And the words were invented. And yeah, this and that. And this is like, I've thought, I've thought of this in the past. This is like why therapy is, I guess, in some way. This reinforces a lot of words. Yeah. Well, yeah. I've never, in the same period of time, I have like, of all the therapy I've done, I'm like, I came out of therapy feeling worse. <laughs> I'm like, I mean, in some ways it like alleviated some like things and some chess pieces were moved around. Yeah. And I was like, okay, I should probably drink less alcohol in my life. Yeah. I should probably, you know, settle down a little bit in my age and, you know, whatever, all these kind yeah. of like, you know, worldly things we do. But like, I came out just like with this whole new set of words that yep. I could ruminate on. Yep. Pathologies. Mm. You know, like that I never would even knew yeah. about. <laughs> yeah. But I went to therapy because that's what they said I needed to do. And now you I went there find and I'm a like, whole many different ways of what's wrong with you. Right. Yeah. That probably didn't exist at all. And you know what? And for some people it might work, you know what I'm saying? But um, you know, maybe for you, you know yeah. what I'm saying? You just kind of like it's just it's just gotten worse yeah. for you so to speak right so yeah yeah there it, was it's, like i said it, it's it, like it's someone was someone was talking to me and he said emerson had no idea what the self was or the me was now i have to get rid of it yeah 
<laughs> That's the same idea, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So we can boldly say that any speaking or teaching of this just reinforces ideas. Yeah. Yeah, yeah right. Yeah. In the same vein of uh, traditional therapy. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because there's, it, it would be different if there was like, you know. You go into new belief minute, system. A, the most efficient video could be one minute long, and that would get yeah. the point across. And why would you need That's more right. than that? You that's know, right yeah. <laughs> but 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 the, the, to produce you know hundreds of hours of content yeah i oh, mean yeah i don't even I do like, the talking dude, video it's like yeah. you, so good yeah I, yeah well i was just saying i think like what you're saying it's like on one hand like that is like a bit of a gateway for people so there could be an argument for that i yeah. see but like it's like I don't. Yeah, that's weird. Yeah, that's well, weird. what what I usually yeah. say is because people have been messaging me. Goes, would you be open to debates? I'm like, what's the debate about? It's a moot point, yeah. right? What's the talk yeah. about, really? Because you know what, all yeah. they have is an intellectualization of what this is. It's just all thoughts and beliefs, right? I'm not even talking yeah. about that anymore. I'm done with that, right? I'm done. Yeah. over. You know, what I'm saying or, it's yeah. like or I don't have a position you- to uphold. Yeah, or even if you wanted to play the angle of like, I'm going to play the devil's advocate to all the authority yeah. figures, you're just going to end up looking like the asshole. That's, that's all right. That's yeah, yeah. happen. I mean, oh, yeah, in, totally. in, in some cases, yeah. Yeah. And so then it's like, well, that's also not productive because now we're creating, you know, more division. Like a counterproductive, right? More division, right? Yeah, yeah. And uh, confusion and all of that. That's right. So, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm at yeah, peace yeah. with them, what I'm doing. Very I'm saying, and it helps a lot of characters. And then someone will say, well, there's no one to help. Well, that's their belief again. Someone has drank the Kool-Aid, yeah. right? You know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> and they it, will never get what I'm trying fair? to express. Yeah. Would it be fair to say that in some level you're saving the Kool-Aid drinkers? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, on some level, like you would, you would almost self-describe yourself as your, the savior of the Kool-Aid drinkers, something like no, that. No, no, I don't want to be a savior or anything. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm just, I'm saying someone, that. Someone actually called me the, the, the death doula of spiritual yeah. seeking. Yeah. If you wind in the seeking, if yeah. you're sick of it, you 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 know what? You know what? We will go relentless yeah. until it's, it's seen that it's pointless. It's completely pointless because everybody will keep on saying yeah. it's pointless. You know, seeking is whatever. Then show, except rather than telling. It's just talk is cheap. Yeah. 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 If it's but so simple, it's, it's show all... us. Yeah. Right. Well, yeah. I mean, you're right. Show, yeah. Show, don't tell. And like, like I, I'm sure behind the curtain, you know, you find that, you know, these people are personalities behind all these things just as well. You know what I mean? They're oh, just... it's all performative, to be honest, David. It's yeah. all performative, right? Yeah. You know, it's, uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm just happy yeah. to express that I talk like this to my parents and to my friends, right? <laughs> what you get is yeah. what you see, you know? Yeah. Um, well, thank you very much. Yeah, of um, course, David. Um, I'm, I'm going to stop the recording. Rain. Yeah, yeah, I'm getting some rain here, so we can stop okay. that. And-